Ladies and gentlemen, and all the participants of the second International Conference of Biophysical Technology in Dentistry. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to present my literature review with title Short Fiber in Forced Composite as Dental Replacement for Restoration of Identically Treated Teeth. First of all, I want to give my biggest gratitude to Norhiati Natsir, DDS Conservative Dentistry Specialist Consultant as Head Department and Lecturer of Conservative Dentistry Department, Faculty of Dentistry Hasanuddin University for guide me to create and compile this literature review. Let me introduce myself. My name is Jade Maruti Lolong. I'm a resident of Conservative Dentistry Department, Faculty of Dentistry Hasanuddin University. As background of this literature review, restoration of endodontical literature should fulfill several conditions, such as effective coronal seal, protection of the remaining structure, and restored function also should have acceptable aesthetics. The most critical issues in the protection of effect tissue in endodontical literature as the major changes in tooth biomechanics are attributable to the loss of tissue following cryosolation, fracture, or cavity preparation, including the excess cavity. In minimally invasive dentistry, direct composite restorations are the most valid restoration option for maximum preservation of intact tissue and the remain tooth structure. Direct restoration approach in endodontically treated teeth has been recognized as a viable option due to the high clinical performance of enamel dentin adhesives and resin composite materials. The basic problems of resin composite is insufficient toughness, toughness and increased contractions, also polymerization shrinkage stress. The polymerization shrinkage increases as the cavity depth increases that happen on less cavities and identically treated teeth this polymerization shrinkage also can cause marginal breakage, micro leakage, and secondary carriers. Conventional resin composite is recommended to apply using incremental technique of up to two millimeters. This can acceptable resin properties and can reduce shrinkage stress. However, the disadvantages of this technique is the contamination between the intermediate layer, difficulty maintaining isolation, and increased operational time. The short fiber import composite consists of composed short randomly oriented glass fibers in this GMA, Tecma resin matrix, SFRC, there's wall to give the walls, and the overlaying composite that can transfer the occlusal loads evenly to the tooth. The light transmission through fibers can result in increased polymerization depth, allow for a simplified full filling technique application. When placing the material into the cavity, forces the randomly oriented fibers perpendicular to the axial cavity walls. Its volumetric shrinkage is significantly lower compared to other composite materials. The polymerization contraction of SFRC is reduced in the direction of the long axis of the fibers. Laboratory research shown that the use of a B-layered structure consisting of a fiber reinforced composite substructure combined with the surface layer of conventional restorative composite increases the fracture load of restoration. On the image that's shown on the screen, on the image A, the crack provocation is arrested and redirected by the SFRC substructure and allowing the repair of the restoration. However, on the image B, the conventional composite propagates the cracks along an unfavorable fracture line through the filling and the tooth structure below the gingival line, making the repair almost impossible. Mechanical properties and structural characterization. As mentioned on the previous slide, SFRC is consists of combination of resin matrix, randomly oriented millimeter scale iglus fibers that have length range between 0.3 until 1.9 millimeters and inorganic particulate fillers. The resin matrix comprises cross linked monomers BGMA and TECMA accompanied with linear PMMA. 
This combination of resins enables the formation of the semi in penetrating polymer network or semi IPN during the polymerization of the material, which provides good bonding properties and improved toughness of resin composites. The fiber that reinforced to the composite have the ability to reduce polymerization shrinkage, tolerate tensile strength, and stop crack propagation in resin composite material. The wear and surface roughness related limitation of SFRC can be overcome by adopting a biomimetic restorative approach in which dentin is replaced by SFRC and covered by a more wear resistant PFC or particulate filler composite. As shown on the image on the screen, the SFRC acts as a dentinal substructure and above the SFRC is placed the PFC composite. Clinically, it is widely recommended nowadays to use layer of bulk fill composite base as dentin replacing material in order to improve aesthetics, reduce the polymerization stress, and to develop better mechanical properties. In vitro studies showed that SFRC has substantial improvements because it has short eagles fibers in comparison with conventional PFC resin. FRC material also intended to be used as bulk base in high stress bearing areas, especially on endodontically treated teeth. The efficacy of fiber enforced based on the resin that used, the length, the orientation, the position, the addition of the fibers to the polymer matrix, and also the impregnation of the fibers into the resin. Polymerization shrinkage and micro leakage of SFRC. Shrinkage induces contraction stress at the interface between the composite resin and cavity walls. Gap formation and secondary carriers, it results because the shrinkage stress that happen between the teeth, the, the tooth structure, and the restoration. The recommended method to overcome this polymerization shrinkage is using incremental technique to reduce polymerization. However, this Particular method, it time consuming, increases the risk contamination, and also could create a void between layer or micro leakage. According to this journal, the shrinkage of resin composite after the removal of the light source might be partially attributed to the post formation traction of residual monomers. SFRC showed significantly lower full matrix shrinkage than the other set tested resin composites. The full metric shrinkage of resin composite depends on the factors such as villar load, type of villar, and size of the villar. Therefore, using short eagles fibers with a semi-IPN resin matrix may be one of the reasons why the full shrinkage of SFRC is reduced. A certain degree of full shrinkage results in residual stress. The residual polymerization stress tends to debond the restoration from dentin walls, which could result in restoration of failure and micro leakage. Depth of cure and light transmission of SFRC. Degree of monomer conversion of resin-based composites influences their mechanical properties, thus also the clinical performance. Fundamental requirement for the success of the composite is to have a proper light curing throughout the composite layer. SFRC is not flowable and have more filler content than flowable book fill materials, but showed bottom to top hardness ratios above 80%, which is clinically recommended. Depth of cure of SFRC is twice as high as other conventional PFC resins, which is 4.6 mm. SFRC have excitable values of degree of compression and viscous hardness at 4 mm thickness compared to the conventional PFC resin. So the FRC can be applied safely as a substructure of 4 mm increment. Furthermore, SFRC has significantly higher curing efficiency than the full depth or high viscous bulk fill materials. The fibers are selenocyte and therefore able to chemically connect to the matrix. As the consequence of these features, the SFRC is able to reinforce the dental structure, even in case of extreme loading conditions. 
Since these fibers show random orientation, they can reduce the polymerization stress generated by the composite resin in all directions. This makes it possible to use the material in layers up to 4 mm. However, the in vitro research that conducted by the researcher showed that SFRC is recommended to apply it in 2 to 3 mm thick layers using oblique technique layering so it can give the base results regarding the fracture resistance of posterior molar among other tested groups on the research. The indication for the usage of SFRC are dentin substitution in medium and large cavities in posterior teeth. Direct restorations should be made of microhybrid or nanohybrid composite covering the SFRC as dentinal core in at least one millimeter thickness. Bonding performance of SFRC. Short fibers reinforcing effect on the oxygen inhibited layer of the adhesive results in better performance in high stress bearing situations. The thickness of the oxygen inhibition layer of SFRC is the highest result in improve the interlayer shear bond strength to adjacent composite layers. SFRC has the highest mean bond strength values in both two and four millimeter thick layers that correlated to the presence of micromechanical interlocking between SFRC and dentin. Short fiber infor composite as biomimetic restoration. As mentioned in the previous slides, SFRC substructure supports the PFC layer and serve as a crack prevention layer. The mechanism of arresting the crack propagation is greatly influenced by the distance between the SFRC substructure and the surface where the stress initiates. In vitro was observed, the optimal thickness of the PFC placement over the SFRC substructure is around 1 and 1.5 millimeters. One of advantages of SFRC also based on biomimetic restoration principle is the inter interface that form between the SFRC and PFC. The fibers are protruding from the surface when apply the SFRC as shown on the image on the screen. This is similar found on dentin enamel junction. At the dentin enamel junction, collagen fibers originating from dentin extend into enamel, creating a fiber reinforced connection between enamel and dentin. It is known that microscopic architecture of the unique mechanical properties of the DAG acts as a natural crack arrest barrier. As conclusion of this literature review, SFRC is formed from variety of fibers and polymers. So it enhances the mechanical and physical properties. Biomimetic restorative using SFRC as dentin replacing and substructure material with overlying PFC on endodontically treated teeth can act as a coronal restoration in high stress bearing areas. Direct composite restoration with SFRC based belayered PFC showed good clinical performance and also more economically for large posterior cavity restoration, such as endonucleotide, so it removed the needs of indirect restoration. At last but not least, thank you for your attention and stay safe.